Hello everybody and welcome to what's most probably the uh, last episode from my side here at Silver Run Forest. Um, I played on the map now for 40 hours something and um, yeah I've accomplished what I came here to do and that was to you know not just just test out the map but also uh, I built myself a boat let's see if this one was working now oh yeah there we go um, I built myself a boat which is on its way to Elm Creek I think um, the money has been great logging and yeah the old sawmill it has produced a lot of uh, Let's see, let's go up to... There we go. Yeah. So I, I can't keep up with the, the old sawmill. It's really producing fast. Uh, I've delivered uh, long planks to more or less all the production facilities. And still it's going like a chunky boy. Uh, the only thing I haven't done uh, here is the... Well, there's probably a lot of things. But I haven't done the roller coaster. Um, to, 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 but that, that's gonna take like three years. I haven't played one year yet. Uh, but there are some things which I want to test out before we end. Yeah, let's just put it like that. <laughs> Alright, let's sell some barrels first. There we go. Barrel is not accepted here. Yeah, so there is a bug here, actually. I saw that also with metal, but I still could sell it. There we go. And thanks to... Yeah! Another thank, thanks to... Oh, I can't remember the name now. But anyhow, uh, to get these uh, new Season 2 Pass uh, billboards on the map, you actually need to be online so you know if you have a, like me a PlayStation account um, then you actually get these up was it Gorspor or one of the guys but anyway uh, the first test uh, well uh, the first thing we're gonna do is related to the uh, Yarder and I used the Yarda a couple of times. Uh, but now I'm going to use it to uh, hopefully just sell directly into um, logs into sell point. There we go. You know what? I think I'm going to use my big chunky class. And um, yeah, you know what? Also the reason why I'm... I'm moving from Silveron is, you know, I, I've done my part of logging uh, and I also cleared out this plot 36. I've harvested once, now I've plowed it. Um, I got animals. And yeah, what I'm also gonna wait for is this one. Uh, I really want to see uh, how it works with. You know harvesting cotton in this uh, steep hill here so yeah that's gonna I'm, i need to skip ahead a little bit on that and i i got the <laughs> let's just jump to it and see yeah here we go uh i told you guys a couple of episodes ago don't do this so now i put it up uh, one more notch uh, i haven't just got a trailer with products <laughs> I also put the whole Scania on top of the train, so uh, we, yeah, we, <laughs> I'm gonna send this off. Can we put straps on there now? We can probably do it from inside. Let's see, let's see if we get some straps on the Volvo. Boop. Oh yeah, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, so we'll be <laughs> I'm going to wait a little bit with this, but this is going to be interesting to see how this goes. 
Uh, well, where's my class again? There we go. So I'm gonna lease myself the yarder, the big one. And you know, I, I haven't figured out where to go to next. Um, you know, it it's been a busy time. Uh, you know, it's Christmas time, and yeah. I'm more or less, well, I'm finished with everything I should do. Um, but you know, now the kids are soon coming and I need to focus on them. I don't want to buy it, I want to lease it. Um, and I'm going to my parents' house uh, next weekend. Uh, so I'm not going to do any playing the whole Christmas weekend. You know, my parents are pretty old, and now I probably have to cook for them. <laughs> well, at least uh, some of it. I, I need to help them out now. Uh, my old daddy is not that well. Uh, my mother, she's got some bad knees and bad back. And yeah, you know how it is if you have uh, older parents, you know how it is. But yeah, so so I don't know. Yeah, you know, uh, there are some interesting maps coming out. Uh, you got the uh, the one I'm waiting for is uh, Court Farm by is it Ox Oxygen David? I think that's gonna be a really great one. And it's he, it, you know, it's taking its time, but the the level of details on that map is just amazing. I've seen some screenshots on Facebook. We got some new animals, and yeah, it's I'm I'm definitely jumping into that one. But yeah, I haven't seen it in testing lists, so you know maybe during next year, hopefully. Uh, I've also got the question of um, you know can you know can you jump in a challenge with no mods? And you know what? I have tried it. Um, you know, no mods and small equipment. But, you know, I, I don't have the patience for it. Uh, especially when it comes to, you know, somebody told me, oh, you should do a challenge with uh, only small equipment under 100 horsepower and under 5 meter work width. Uh, but but the thing is, I don't have the time for it. Um, you know, I I work. I don't have this as a full time thing. Uh, I have some kids here and there, and you know, just thinking about it. If you're doing a challenge and you have a field like this, and you're working with a 50 horsepower tractor and a two meter cultivator. You know, just to cultivate this field here, it's going to take you like two hours. And making a video for you guys, um, it's going to take like six to seven hours to make a half an hour video. Uh, because everything is taking so long time to do, uh, if you get my grip. So, yeah, that... Um, I'll uh, I'll have to uh, I'll have to reconsider that one. Um, I also have a challenge on my block, on a map that came out a couple of weeks ago, and maybe I'll create my own challenge. Yeah, it is like it is a start from scratch, and um, yeah, the map is gorgeous. So we'll see. Either that, or I'll just jump in the uh, Rusty Money Gaming's Farming Simulator Challenges group on Facebook. And I'll find myself um, a challenge there. We'll have to see. Oh, I need to unfold it. Oh, okay. Uh, there we go. Yeah, so now, uh, let's jump in here. Uh, so this is the South Sawmill, so what I've heard people have doing, uh, they are putting the yarder here, this is the cell point, 
and I have a lot of logs over here. So I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, test if we can just use the yarder to pull them whoop, straight over here and sell them. And what I'm also gonna test out is can, you know, if I can attach the yarder here someplace, cut down some trees here, and then whoop, drag them over. Um, let's see, I think I'm pretty much lined up. Why don't I have the help window here? There we go. Um, set up yard rope. Boop. There we go. All right. I wonder how long this one is. Have anybody tested it out? Oh no, there's a fencer. Ah, oh, come on, jump, jumpy. Oh no. Oh, oh, we got it. I for certain. <laughs> Can we go all the way here? Oh man, how long is this yellow line? <laughs> all right, all right, let's see. Uh, we need to attach it. Um, Maybe on this one, as high as I can get. There, maybe. Uh, set tree as rope target. Bam. There we go. Enable carriage follow mode. L3. Now you can see on the animation there on the left side, the carriage is actually coming to me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, let's test it out there. Let's see. Um, let's uh, follow me to here. There we go. And disable carriage. Follow me. And then let's uh, see if we can get the uh, attached tree. Bam. Attach another tree. Bam. Another tree, bam. Ah! Tree is too heavy. The maximum weight is three ton. How about this one? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, okay. How did I operate this one? Um, lift lower trees, R1. No, R. Oh man, these are pretty long. Oh no, I took the wrong trees. Didn't I? Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I think we're good. These are the uh, 8 meter. Oh, these are the 8 meter ones. These are the 9 meter ones. Yeah, so these ones I was piling up for uh, container and these ones for ordinary sale. Uh, let's see. Should we do enable carriage? Alright, buddy. Let's, uh, oh, oh, don't, oh, no collision. Let's see if we can, uh, <laughs> let's see, let's, uh, disable this guy now. Uh, how did I lower it? Lift lower. <laughs> and sideways was that way and let's see how the cars are reacting of course not come on buddy all right we didn't uh, create the traffic jam as i was hoping for but anywho let's uh let's try to uh, sell these logs here there we go uh and now i need to i'm too fat to jump over this fencer <laughs> yeah <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can uh, put on the enabling now. 
Enable carriage, follow me. Whoa. Follow me, follow me. Oh, oh, the train. Oh, yeah, yeah, we definitely need to check this out. Um, isn't the train coming here? Oh, no, I have the train. Oh, forget about it. <laughs> All right, let's try to sell these guys. Over there and lower and lower. There we go. And this should be working. Um, do, 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 detach trees. Bam. And then sell trees. There we go. So, yeah, you can probably, you know, I, I don't, like I said, I don't know how long this yonder is. But uh, putting it here, you can probably, you know, go all the way up in the mountains there and just pull the trees down to the set point. Nice. All right, all right. The next thing we're going to have some fun with uh, or test with is these guys here. The red sequoias uh, or what? what's the official name? Giant sequoias. Um, I haven't tested it myself, but everybody is saying that you don't get any paid for these. And just my curiosity, I, I want to test it. <laughs> and I want to test how heavy they are. Can you actually lift it with a tractor like this? With a 2000 uh, kilo weight on the back. So I got two born here. I need to buy the area first. Let's see. And this was not that expensive. 90,000. I'm gonna buy it. Now the thing here is that... Um, these guys here are pretty... Yeah. I've already bought it. That's the thing. I think. Yeah. Because if you go into here now... Uh, let's see, if I buy myself a normal chainsaw, I already own this one? Ah, oh. alright, okay. You know, I, I downloaded the mod from uh, Mr. Yo's modding. You know, the, uh, the, um, the larger chainsaw. Which is called Long Reach Chainsaw Mod, which had an update, uh, yeah, a while ago, uh, with not just Long Reach, but also um, a wider diameter. Uh, so, you know, on these guys here, uh, you can, you know, cut branches really long, but you can also cut these big sequoias here. So, let's see, um... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to, uh, I'm gonna try to lift this one. This is the, this is the smaller one. Oi, 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 knife, oi, oi, sorry, buddy. <laughs> let's see, let's take off some branches. Uh, oh, the big ones are not going away. Alright, so that this is the small one. <laughs> Alright, so what did it say? This is... This is 17.2 ton. And you would imagine that... Yeah, 17,000 liter with wood on this one. Let's see if we can lift it. Oh. Oh yeah, no, that is, that's a big negative. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's definitely 17 uh, 17 ton uh, or 17 uh, yeah. So that that's okay, that's not going to work. 
and then we're gonna jump into this guy and production and sell point and we need this one Yosa's uh, incredible mobile sell point which you, you now actually can use on all maps and sell uh, containers with so yeah this is um, <laughs> this is great let's see so let's see what we get for 17,000 liter with a, a giant sequoia Oop. three <laughs> <laughs> 387 dollar oh man oh we need to uh, we need to test out with a big uh, big papa here let's see how big this is whoa this is 42 ton. Oh man. $963. That's ridiculous. All right, all right. Anywho. So, let's uh let's jump to the train. Let's um and I I put up uh, a, an obstacle actually on the let's just jump to it there. Let's fire it up. Uh, let's put the straps on this one also, and on this one, straps off, on, and away we go. Yeah, so what I have done is, oh, <laughs> uh, you remember the yarder? Oh, oh, no, 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 I forgot something here now. There we go. I was just something personal. Uh, I forgot. Uh, but yeah, you remember the uh, yarder that we tested? Uh, I've uh, put up some trees hanging just over the railroad. And <laughs> we're going to see. I know this is, uh, this is not a um, realistic episode. But, you know, I, I thought since this is the last episode here on Silverun. I thought we could have some a little bit fun and testing out different things. So yeah, the trees should be hanging from the yard just here. Hey, where's my trees? Oh, there we go. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the next thing now is to see, um, I, I know, I'm pretty sure what's going to happen with the trailer. I don't know what's going to happen with the uh, Scania. That's also probably going to be, uh, you know, thrown out of her. <laughs> but we should get some money from the, the planks and the wood beams. Let's see, it's just around the corner here now. Bula. Bula, Bula. And I have some normal planks on the first cart. Come on, buddy. Do you want to sell? <laughs> Boom. Okay, let's see. <laughs> let's see what happens. <laughs> Bam. All right, we got 10,000. No, 130,000. 10,000. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all right. It's the same thing that happened with the small trailer. Uh, I got thrown away just on the edge of the map here. And, yeah, oh, wow, the camera is... There's obviously something going on here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Ah, we are back on track. So, yeah, at least we <laughs> we did it. And uh, yeah, you know what? And now I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit, uh, and we're gonna do uh, some cotton. 
looking at my map here there we go yeah so the growing stage is yeah it's gonna take some months i think but you know what i'm i'm gonna skip ahead you know what I, i'm i'm missing the the biggest thing i'm missing is uh, not only to do normal farm you know field work but also, you know, uh, having workers going on, doing contracts, and yeah, taking care of animals. Yeah, I do have sheep, sir. But I feel, you know, I've 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 driven I've driven around not all the map, but most of the map, and these two areas here are more or less the only areas where where it is you know kind of flat where you can actually make yourself uh, a field i know it's a logging map it's a logging map but anywho after 40 hours i'm a little bit uh, uh, i got i got some uh, wooden taste in my back pocket that's for sure. This one we placed down. This is the um, the pellet factory. So you can see in the bottom right corner we we got some wood uh, wood pellets and straw pellets. This is great from uh, Sodden Socked. All right, I'll see you uh, when the cotton is ready, and let let's do some. Uh, hilly cotton harvesting all right all right i had to skip all the way until uh, november uh, but here we are and my cotton is ready to harvest finally so i leased myself the big boy the uh, what is it 11 meter uh, or 11 and a half meter working with on this guy here uh, let's see let's turn on and uh, there we go oh let's check the environmental score now uh, it's 77 that's on uh, let's see that no 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 I'm on the wrong one uh, so I'm gonna start here now so probably it's gonna affect this score also 50 and 77 so how much do you reckon out of this field looking here now we have what 400 liter I'm guessing we're not gonna get one whole bale I think at 10,000 liter I'm guessing like whoa, okay we are a thousand liter now okay one thousand two three four five say oh, okay yeah okay maybe one one bale okay I'm guessing uh, ten thousand and twenty five liter <laughs> Uh, let's see the, this one has a little bit more horsepower and the other ones so at least hopefully it should be able to do this steep hill cotton harvesting It took a while. I think I, I planted these cotton here in what December, December or January. So yeah, around nine, ten, eleven months. You know that that for me personally that that's actually a thing which I'm missing on FS19, and that's the growth time. Even though uh, on FS22 uh, it, it doesn't matter if you're doing with or without season, it's taking a hot minute. Uh, and that's also a good point for doing uh, a challenge with small equipment. And that has to do, you know, if you're starting from scratch and you have, you know, a small field, 
All right, all right. Then you're doing like uh, wheat or something. That's gonna take eight months to grow. Yeah, wheat is eight months. I think uh, what I usually start with is always what is it? Oat. I think it's barley or oat, which is only four months. But yeah, if you're doing a, a start from scratch, a, a survival challenge, um, and you need to wait like eight months before you get anything money in at all, you know, yeah, you know, you can do productions and animals, you have to do it. Or else uh, you you will just just end up uh, fast forwarding all the time. So you need to have something on the side on FS22. That that's at least my view on it. You can't just have two small fields and <laughs> just wait for it. But anyway, I'm gonna chunk away here. Uh, what do we got? We got all right. We got oh, we got five thousand liter already. Okay. Uh, okay, maybe we'll get. Uh, okay, um, I have to stand on my ten thousand and twenty-five liter. Let's see when we're finished how much we get. And I'm gonna try out the the um, thirty foot bomb. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Uh, let's see, I was supposed to check out and test the updated 30 foot, this one here. Uh, I need this one, round bale cotton. And I need to put it on auto load round bale cotton bales. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's take it red since it's cotton. I'm gonna lease that one. Um, this can take seven round bale cotton. Ooh, man. We're gonna get maybe one, maybe one and a half. Alright, I just uh, <laughs> I just wanted to test it out the test out the the big bag left uh, I finally downloaded the uh, CSZ pack, and I have to say I used this big bag handler on FS19 a lot. Uh, on certain items, it could get a little bit you know scary, uh, at, especially when you have beautiful loading like this uh, sometimes it just start to flip around the whole tractor uh, I've tested it now on pallets on logs and I have to say the big bag lifter is much more stable on FS22 than it is was on FS19 so let's uh, let's just sell this one Oh, maybe it's over there. Uh, the cotton harvesting is... There we go. Uh, the cotton harvesting is uh, finished. And yeah, I was way off. I was way off uh, when it came to... Uh, the amount of cotton we got. <laughs> We got three bales and we almost got one uh, little two and a half thousand liter bale, uh, but I'm a little bit too short on that. So let's uh, let's do some auto loading, auto load uh, cotton bales. Let's see if this bad boy here is working. Whoa, wow, that's heavy. <laughs> I was doing a wheelie. Let's say, let's back up here a little bit. And full throttle. Whoa. Alright, alright. 
So yeah, uh, three cotton beds. And I've, I've done uh, a test video on the cotton harvesters and uh, these guys here, which are making the round bales. As long as you have, the minimum you can make is 2,500 liter bales. As you can see here, we got three bales. And inside here now, of course, I have 1,449 and with those last four or five cotton plants there, I'm short. So now I, I'm not going to get the option, at least I think so, um, to unload. No. So I need to have at least 2,500 liter. Um, so those 1,400 liter with cotton inside there are actually lost yeah you know, on, on fs19 we had loose cotton i don't know if we have that on fs22 let's see uh let's see here now uh l1 and operating position boop there we go And yeah, it's much more than <laughs> than I thought. And you know, then, then it makes you wonder, is it worth it doing it with uh, the big boy here? Uh, this one here is 46,000 to lease, but the header is more or less double the amount, double the size of the other ones. And looking at prices for cotton, I think it was like five, five and a half. Uh, where are we? There. Yeah. So almost six thousand, and I got thirty thousand liter here. So thirty times six—that's a hundred and eighty thousand. A hundred and eighty thousand in crop sale on this little field here. Uh, it took a hot minute to uh, to let it grow finished and this one here is 40,000 down but yeah cotton is uh, it's a good thing as long as you <laughs> have the time for, to wait for it so I think I'm gonna you know what we, we're gonna end it now anyway so I think just I'm gonna sell it here at the Silveron market. Let's see here now. Uh, bales. I think bales are this one here. Let's see. Unload bales. Boop. No. Unload bales. Unload bales here. Boop. There we go. 180,000. And 18,000 in bonus. And oh yes. What did we say here? The score here was 77. Now it's 97. The score on this one was 50. Now it's 94. Looking at my total environmental bonus. It's 10%. So yeah. Like I said before. And I said it many times before. Um, position farming is there's nothing to lose on it um, and you cannot go wrong so to speak the only thing um, you can go wrong on um, is for example if you are uh, putting soybeans into the ground uh, and then you do fertilizing afterwards then you can much as say over fertilize and then you can get the hit on that uh, but otherwise just do you know your normal farming routine and you're gonna get some bonus and like I've done now I haven't you know I I haven't been a hundred percent specific on position farming but you know everything I sell here now uh, I get 10% bonus. But anyway, 
So yeah, I, I've um, I've had a fun time on Silveron uh, Forest. Uh, at least I've tested it now, and yeah, I'm a little bit up my neck when it comes to uh, logging. And yeah, I need to find myself uh, a new map. If you have any tip on a good challenge, uh, let me know in the old comment section. And I'll look into it. Um, I'm gonna check the the Facebook page. Uh, I'm gonna uh, check out Rusty Money on do, 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 do Discord and see if there's any news there. But anyway, thanks to everybody who has hit the like button, watching it in general, and leaving all the comments and tips and help. You know. I, I, I need uh, all the help I can get, you know, there, there are so many uh, options and things you can do now on FS22 and uh, not everybody is doing it the same and there's so many mods out there, a big shout out to all the models and th <laughs> thanks again for watching and bye bye.